<laughs> hey, hey, guys. Good afternoon. Kabu here. I'm back after another long week of just like not showing up at all. <laughs> uh, I keep doing this. <laughs> and I'm here. I'm just like having a really tough time just finishing the story for like ZZZ because uh, apparently I, I think tomorrow is literally the uh, the update. I think you can see it on. I just look at this. 23 hours before the banner is gone and there's like no banners after this one so it's still like the next update so yeah i pretty much have 23 hours uh before the update comes uh comes up and then i have to like do like well catch up i want to just like catch up and be able to actually finish with the story of like 1.0 so whenever the update comes out and i have like the time to play the game I can just go straight into the story, but I I know that I shouldn't be doing uh, the story like immediately uh, in terms of like uh, streaming content kind of thingy, because uh, if you try to do it immediately, a lot of people are not gonna end up like watching uh, because well, it's not like anybody comes and watches me. Uh, um, well, for everybody else that might be interested in this, apparently it's not good to do the story like immediately unless you're just like. You just can't wait and you want to like stream it kind of thing or just like do a video about it kind of thing uh because a lot of people are well a lot of people are like busy with like sports with like their friends with like school with like work and so if you try and and, and they're not gonna be playing the story um on release and uh of course there are people that don't want to get spoiled like at all so they just like skip out on like people that are are streaming it like early or like immediately as soon as like the update comes out on like the next couple of days so it's like better to actually wait for like uh, a week or until the next like uh like weekend to play the story so i kind of want to do that i want to be able to uh finish the story today if possible and then i'm going to be completely free and i'm going to be able to do like uh the side quests and stuff like that that i need to do on uh the rest of the week plus if i have some free time on the week then just like play something else because uh, i gotta catch up with honkai impact i gotta um, i wanna get back to wooa wing um uh, because it's apparent i think they're close to going on to like the next update like there's uh i think the current update is like 1.1 for wooa and i think they might be going into 1.2 soon either soon as in like uh the next couple of like weeks or like soon like next month kind of thing so yeah that's um that's something that i gotta do and there's like another other games that are, i completely forgot that um the hell oh wait don't tell me that i okay good uh i got some like messages to my phone and i was very scared because i thought something happened to like my my data plan stuff like that i got really really scared but um as i was saying i completely forgot that wukong was going to be releasing soon and by soon i mean next week quite literally next week wait wait a minute okay good I looked at my preview on Twitch and I saw that I wasn't like talking, so I thought, oh, oops, did I mute myself on accident again? And I didn't unmute myself. Uh, but yeah, Wukong is coming out, and I really want to play that game because uh, I don't want to see like any spoilers about it because it's like a, it's a very hyped up game, uh, Wukong, and it's like uh, the type of like game that I like because it's like very actiony and it has like the uh, the Dark Souls feel. It has like the Dark Souls feel together with like the new. I think it's more Neo than Dark Souls actually. Oh, sorry. And remember, I haven't actually finished Neo 1. I never finished Neo 1. And I watched Neo 2. I did play Neo 1. Uh, I streamed it on like another account a long time ago. And I had a very generous, not generous, but a very friendly shatter uh, that was like a, a big fan of like Neo. And the person taught me how cool comboing things uh can be on like uh neo because like you can you can do a lot in that game. oh wait but i don't have a controller oh that i forgot about that uh anyways uh, continuing with the neo story uh there's like a lot of things that you can do they have like a skill system and you can customize your character to just have like certain skills you cannot use like all the skills that you unlock you have to choose between uh, a couple of them to just like put them into like slots and uh you activate it by just like using like button combinations and uh if you do things well you can actually just like 
combo those uh, abilities or those skills that you gain uh, into like uh, something big, like a very, very long combo that like completely destroys like the stamina of your opponent and you just like stun lock them and um, you you continue just like uh, there's like a lot, an ability where you just like swap your stances you gain back your own stamina and you can use that uh together with just like the combo and you can get like very very creative with it and the person that i w uh, was watching me just like taught me a lot about that and taught me a lot of combos and it's just like it completely like uh opened up the game for me in terms of like how how much uh how much you can do with it in terms of like co combos and like, just cool, cool things that you can do and um i don't know much about like wukong other than a couple of like trailers that i've watched i actually have skipped a lot of trailers for wukong because uh they they were marking a lot of like the boss fights and stuff like that and for games like those uh i kind of want like the boss fights to just like to go into them completely blind so that i can get surprised and i can get used to the bosses like at my own pace and just like see all the cool things that the bosses are going to have and all the cool things that you can do um as a player against the bosses because uh if i remember correctly I, well actually i don't know if uh wukong is more of uh, like a linear game rather than an open world game but it's like a, a very interesting game i just hope that it doesn't like flop uh well it's not gonna flop uh, I just hope that it isn't like an absolute mess on release because it's been in development for a very, very long time. And it, the good thing about games that are in development a long time, uh, unless they're trying to like cheese you like Star Citizen. <clears throat> I think that's the game. Uh, <laughs> I think that's the game that I'm thinking about. I think Star Citizen is the one that has been like uh, receiving a gajillion donations and uh, it has like uh, an absolute billion dollars. Uh, to its like name but it still hasn't like gotten any major updates or getting any sort of like release date or stuff like that but uh yeah i i'm really hoping that wukong is going to be like a good game and it's not going to be like a, a insanely buggy mess at the start to the point that it's unplayable uh or that it just like uh, falls below the expectations or maybe like the a lot of things that were happening back in the day where like a lot of like trailers uh were like sort of fake um and for example um, if i remember correctly like a lot of the things that were shown for like cyberpunk in terms of like trailers and the uh, the marketing and advertisement that they did of them were just like fake they were just like not real and um which uh kind of bite them in the butt later on when uh the game got released even though a lot of people still ended up loving it a lot the game is in a much better state now but uh release cyberpunk was uh not good and uh of course i i will not forget them for doing that but um, at the very least, it's good now, so it's now playable. Anyways, I do want to play Wukong uh, when it releases, hopefully. Um, and the only thing that I'm scared about is the fact that I don't have a controller. So if I am going to be getting Wukong, I think I should also get myself a controller. And I still don't know if I should get myself an Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller. And where I should get it? That's the issue. That's a that's a big issue where I should go and buy the controller. I do not want to buy it off Amazon because usually it's like uh, expensive because of uh, the shipping and stuff like that. And I don't think at the moment uh, I have like Amazon Prime at the moment for, for me to have like free shipping or like anything that I want to buy. Mm. And I also don't know if uh, DualShock is better than uh, the Xbox controller or if the Xbox controller is better than the DualShock from like PlayStation. Because right now I've been to well before. No, actually right now uh i i'm using like a playstation 4 controller but like i mentioned before when i was playing honkai it's just like the the controller is very much dying uh a lot of things are not working my triggers activate by themselves so if i was playing a shooter i'd just like be randomly like aiming down my sights and uh, letting go of like my my sights like it would repeatedly uh, without pressing like the button and it just like start shooting randomly what else? Um, I think it also has like a couple of problems with uh, some of the buttons. I think it's the, I think it's the circle button. The circle button sometimes doesn't actually work, and uh, it doesn't read the input. So that's pretty bad, especially in a game that uh, might require some sort of like, uh, you know, timings, or yes, timings of like when I dodge like an attack and I'm gonna need have like a, uh, I don't have much time to retaliate against an enemy and then just pressing the button and just like registering it either not registering that i press the button or registering it late and queuing up my attack which will then lead me to getting hit uh it's if it happens it'd be like very frustrating um or i could just try to play it with keyboard and mouse and hope that it's um 
it actually has good keyboard and mouse controllers. Like for example, uh, with the ZZZ, I can actually play with keyboard and mouse. It's not that bad. I don't think it's bad at all. Playing with keyboard and mouse, ZZZ. It's much different. It's like a thing that I've gotten used to because of the Dark Souls games, because Dark Souls games, playing them on keyboard and mouse is, it's not good. Especially because I was uh, I was there on the time uh, that Dark Souls 1 came out. It came out on the PC and I heard uh, I played on like the console. I tried to get it on the PC, but my P PC at the time wasn't good enough to actually play the game. It just like disconnect me off of online because uh, it said, oh, your uh, frame rate is not stable, so we cannot let you play online. And it just like disconnect me. And uh, one of the reasons that I want to play on PC was because I wanted to PvP. I was a big PvPer at the time of Dark Souls 1. I didn't become a good, uh, a big PvPer for Dark Souls 2 because the game was completely different and it wasn't to my liking. Uh, or in Dark Souls 3 because at that point I already like fallen off the uh, a lot of the PvP communities for Dark Souls. And one of the big deals for Dark Souls were the PvP communities, which you just like like get like fight clubs and stuff like that. And it was it was a lot of fun. You get to like meet people, talk to them and stuff like that. It was uh those were some good days. But the bad thing about uh the, the bad thing about fighting on like Dark Souls or just like playing with other players is that usually there used to be like some sort of like hidden code of conduct that you had to like follow. Uh but of course like not a lot of people follow because it's just like a it's like a personal code of conduct conduct that uh, a lot of players would have where you just you'd have to like bow and you never just like uh you never gank people you would never try to like you always fight like 1v1 and you were fighting like 1v3 or 1v2 and you had like a friend that you just like get painted as like the uh, the biggest trash on earth uh on the game even though maybe you invaded somebody that wanted to just like play the video game and was playing with, uh, with a friend and you were there with a uh, level 120 and uh maxed out weapons while they just have like the uh the smallest little trash of a uh, of an attire uh with like the worst armor that they can have, but it just like looks cool. Or maybe they have like good armor, but they just have like every, the, there's like no fashion in them, and they just are just equipping anything that can give them the best armor, and they're like fat rolling everywhere, kind of thing. Just like uh, yeah, those were the days. But I've yapped much. Uh, let's get to the story because if I don't start the story, I'm never gonna end. So we saved Rain. We got a pretty good, cool cutscene, and the thing about the cutscene, oh, I had to rush that day, uh, because uh, I think it was, I think it was last Thursday, and I was joining a watch along, and uh, it had just started, but I needed to finish like that one last story quest, uh, to be able to just like for the game to just like save itself or i pretty much thought that the moment that that uh, quest ended i'd be just like, completely free from the story uh but no uh, i still have to do like the last bit so like probably some sort of like epilogue for chapter three uh because now we got to talk to like rain and uh we need to check what's going on with that this uh this drive thingy <clears throat> that coletta, coletta gave us that had like information on some information that course had coletta's father and something very interesting that I saw in the cutscene that I wasn't able to mention much because I was just in a rush to end everything uh, was the moon. I believe the game doesn't actually show the moon uh, when it's like nighttime. And the moon was very curious because it was like half corrupted. And the moon can be like a very, very big deal in a lot of like video games because it's just like such a big like landmark kind of thing for uh, in like Earth. So for it to be like half corrupted and for it to look like so, so weird. And I don't know why no one has mentioned the moon in the story, in the story or in the side quest that I play. Um, so I'm very curious as to what's going on with it. I, I wonder if it, that's like the source of like the hollows or if something like big is going on because for example, for PGR, I know that at one point, uh, the story actually, uh, throws you to the moon and you need to like fight some sort of like big monster from the punishing virus. Um, this is of course, after I ended up quitting the game, I just know a little bit of information because somebody told me like, uh, oh, this is such a good part of the game because it's like, it's such a cool, cool boss battle and stuff like that. So I just checked the boss battle and I just noticed like, oh, they're on the moon. They're, they're fighting in space, which is kind of normal. Well, in the game, because, uh, humanity is literally living in space because they got pushed out of earth by the punishing virus. 
and I think, but uh, anyways, I've yapped too much. Uh, I'm yapping too much. I don't know how, how long have I yapped? 15 minutes. Okay, uh, I can still make it. Uh, because I also, there's somebody that's streaming right now, that streams early, and that I also want to like support them. So the moment that I'm done with this, I'm probably going to head over there. So yeah. Rain, what's going on? She is big in terms of like height. When I saw her on the quest and like uh I really pictured her to be like really really short. I didn't expect her to be like so tall. Or to have such like long legs. Yeah, consider considering she was kidnapped and she almost died if it wasn't for like Alan. Yeah, not only is she No longer is she looking better. She's also like talking very, very differently from how she was talking when she was like in danger. She's like much more calm and just like uh, she's more calm and collected. Not we really didn't do much. It was Victoria housekeeping. Hmm. Yeah, did she get like commissioned to do some sort of like mission and then they grabbed her? They nabbed her? <clears throat> oh, that's nice. Mm. Yeah. I thought something like that might have happened. I mean, she's a very good hacker, so I'm not surprised that she actually got offered that very big sum of money, uh, very like big and high amount of like money for her like services. Yeah, I'm surprised. You'd think that uh maybe they had taken her like phone. And she wouldn't be able to use it, but she was able to like use it, or I don't know how she ended up sending the messages. All right, she did get caught when she was like sending messages to people. But the big thing is that uh, she wasn't really sending, she was sending like empty messages. So if it wasn't for Fairy, we would never have found where she was. And she, well, she would have died. Actually, no, maybe she'd be, she would have been fine, but she was just getting, getting like, um, uh, she would have just getting taken in by like that company that had kidnapped her and she would have become just like a, pretty much like a slave to like that company. Like, no freedom, and she'd just, like, be a hacker. Uh, and be in much, much pain. Hmm. I wonder if there's a connection with, the, like, the whole Vision Corp thingy that happened. Sacrifice. I mean, it. Sacrifice in English in Katakana. Now that's curious. That is very, very important. It's going to be important later. Mm, maybe we can ask Fairy. Hmm. Good, because we're not exactly rich at the moment. After losing our account. Hmm. 
<laughs> wouldn't be surprised if one day she just shows up and then I just get a little quest, or like I just get like a. She just shows up and she has like the little, the, the little thing about her head where I can just talk to her, and she ends up working for us in the video store. Mhm. Mm I wonder what we're gonna end up fighting on it, and if it's gonna just be like the ending of the chapter. And it's gonna leave us in like a cliffhanger, like a big cliffhanger. Hmm. Hit the store. Hello there, proxies. Hi, it's been a while. Glad and Grace, you're here. Quick, come in. We retreat. The... Who's who's saying this? Me? Yeah, at this point, I don't know if we're following Trouble, or if Trouble is following us. <laughs> mm. Yeah, except Pearlman, there's no way that he's able to actually run away from, like, whatever cor corporation is just, like, trying to hunt him down. There's absolutely no way. We really need more information about it. We know nothing of it. We just know that it's unique and that it was able to just uh, interfere with a technology, electricity, something like that. I like some sort of like EMP ish type of power. And I'm still very curious if Jane Doe is going to show up. <laughs> and give us all the information. Okay. Oh. All right, now this is big because this might be a message from course and it might be directed to Coletta. Nice. Going into comic mode. Okay, this is pretty scary. What's going to happen? It has to be a message from course. It's probably when he got shot, but once again, he got shot from inside the cabin. He didn't get sh shot from outside. There were like no bullet holes outside. We only saw bullet, ho bullet holes inside the cabin. We still didn't find his body. We all be fine. Is it the hollows? Whatever started the hollows? Is it the unknown ethereal? It is the ethereal. Now, here's the thing. I'm very, very curious about this. Did the holos happen only after? Or, like, did the holos appear on the day that the old capital fell? Or were the holos things uh, that were showing up in the world before the capital fell and 
just kind of like happened that a uh, one big hollow ended up swallowing the whole capital. Mm hmm. Sacrifice. But for it to be so unique and so human like, maybe that's why it's called like a sacrifice because it's a human that got sacrificed to the hollow and got completely turned. But at the same time, like the other holes, for example, the one that we saw in the prologue, the uh, uh, the silver guy. He turned into a hollow and he was nowhere near close to looking like that. That one ethereal, this like unknown ethereal, this sacrifice. But the, the sacrifice would also look like it was uh, like, um, what's the word for it? Like he had some like implants, some like technological implants, like on its head and on its arms, which maybe that was the reason why it could actually just like jam communications or like jam electronical devices. But still. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, we heard about it for the first time today, a couple minutes ago. No, the thing is, was Perlman going to turn into a sacrifice? Were they going to use him to uh, to make another sacrifice? Or is the fact that all the that the blimp was going to be going into the hollow uh, with like that amount of like people together? Was it perhaps going to be like some sort of like ritual? And were all of them going to like, I don't know, fuse with the blimp or something like that? Or like fuse inside the blimp? and turn into like a sacrifice? Hmm. Guess which characters got announced not too long ago? Sons of Caledon. And do you know where the Sons of... Forgive me if I'm butchering their name. I can't remember uh, what their name is exactly or like their faction is called. It's Sons of something. Uh, but two of them got shown on the CCT social media. And uh, well, both of them are from the same faction. And here's the thing. They're talking about the Outer Ring, and the faction is a, a faction that is actually located in the Outer Ring. So probably the next update, I actually have like absolutely no information about it. Uh, the next update or like the story, I only know that Jane Doe is going to be like the new character that's going to show up. I wonder if we're going to try to find some information into getting to the Outer Ring or some information about Pearlman. And that's when we end up um, just like, you know, crossing paths with, like Jane Doe. And maybe on update 1.2, we're going to be heading towards the Outer Ring, and that's where we're going to meet up with uh, the new characters from the uh, Sons of Caledon. We're going to have to find out what's going on over there. Hmm? Micah? And they're listening to us. Are they... They said that they're investigating it, so... And they're either... Are they trying to investigate people that know about the sacrifice and silence them? Or are they trying to find people that know about the sacrifice and get information about it? Oh. <gasps> 
Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Now I'm even more curious as to who this master is. You split the prototype memory unit with Coletta and Grace to verify that no useful information remains on it. After that, you discuss your many doubts about the vision case and events from many years ago. It's already nighttime after sending them off. Colette and Grace have left already, Wise. Today has been quite a shock for all of us. We all need some good rest. We should start considering our next move, too. Do you have any ideas? Let's start by recapping the information we gathered today. Turns out Kors really was murdered. Mur Kill. And it's possible that he deliberately tricked the culprit into spilling the monster's name. Sacrifice. Now we know the monster's name. And it seems the person who has uh, who tried to off Pearlman is somehow mixed up in all of this. Pearlman might have some clues. We need to find them. We really do need to find them. Exactly. Pearlman must know the culprit behind all this. Okay. Now I do doubt that. I doubt that uh, the Pearlman actually knows who's at the top of all this, but he must have some information. Hmm. It's a tricky situation. We don't have many connections in the Outer Ring, and public security has no jurisdiction there. But I've heard there are a lot of Outer Ring traders smuggling goods into the city through the hollows every day. But I'll reach out to Shepard and see if he can he can hook us up with some jobs in the Outer Ring. Maybe we'll stumble up on something useful. Okay, thanks for your hard work, Belle. Mm -hmm. Just leave it to me. You've been working hard lately, Wise. Go to bed early and get a good night's sleep. Belle leaves your room. Chapter 3, The Midnight Pursuit, complete. With our common objectives now clear, let's get some rest today. And for some sleep, eep. And here's the news. Court airship hijacked by hacker. Suspect, suspect escapes. Breaking news, on the eve of the vision trial, an airship transporting personnel was hijacked by hackers on its way to the Supreme Court. Thankfully, an intelligence construct passenger was able to manually land the aircraft on the rooftop of the Ballet Twins, averting the potential tragedy of an uh, airship plunging into the hollows. The passenger claims that a powerful anesthetic was released from a suitcase that belongs to the defendant of the, uh, of the vision trial, Mr. Perlman. It knocked out all pas passengers except himself. The passenger rushed to the cockpit and found the airship was being hijacked. After crash landing the airship, the passengers immediately evacuated the remaining passengers from the, uh, the airship, but was unaware that Perlman had woken up, who then took off with the airship. Public security has confirmed the testimony regarding the anesthetic and the hijacking. The further investigation is underway. What? Do me a couple of reads and uh and a news check on TV to understand what happened. Crazy stuff. Hang on, what about the vision trial? Send on the news that it got postponed. Of course. It, it had to be caused postponed because Perlman's no longer there. And he's the only connection that we have to like the vision trial thingy. But to like the, the vision uh vision in general. Here's my guess. Perlman planned to drug everyone and then escape, but they didn't know that someone would still be awake. He played possum until they landed, then made his move. Mm, no, I do think that he did fall asleep, but somehow, who knows, it could have been because of his weight, because you know how uh, the more weight that you have as a person, uh, the more that you can resist a poison or something like that, and um, maybe that's how he ended up uh, resisting the uh, the anesthetic, or like wake up faster than anyone else. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, but... Uh, I'm trying to bring, I'm trying to bring too much logic into this, but uh, you, you should never try to bring logic into video games because that's not how it works. Now, surprisingly, Perlman's escape caused, caused quite the buzz on the internet. Ask about the outer ring, the outer ring, sacrifice. What exactly is it? Eep. You fall asleep without even realizing it, probably because you're exhausted. Looks like all our important matters have come to an end. Feels like things have only just begun, though. Why, so look at you, you've still got unfinished business. Don't worry, our proxy career won't stop here. Really? Well, as long as you keep upgrading your internal level, you'll land a stack of new jobs. And if we close you up to some of the other agents in the industry, they might just be able to recommend some more jobs to us. Not to mention all the exciting stuff that has been going on in the city. The street side events. Uh, the street side events. We can go search all of these, those out. Enjoy the freedom of life. Always stick together with my bro. Hmm. I kill an agent's story, the tr and the true heroes are always behind the scenes. It's been recorded and viewed, uh, and can be viewed in the video archive. Lena, until your memory fades. Hey. 
New job, old place, white star, schedule has been updated. Uh, nya, 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 nya. Life has returned to normal. Normal. Rebuild the internet account. What does that mean? Schedule. With the important commissions concluded, life in a new editor is peaceful again. Let's use this time to rebuild our internet uh, account. Perhaps there will be some new encounters as both a shopkeeper and a proxy. Well, I I guess I can. I'm already level forty, and I'm gonna guess there's another one on level fifty. One of these like rank up missions. Now, how do I exploration, combat, blast away? Oh, shepherd message. There we go. Uh, so remember to note down every win, every showdown with the heroes, and stare off with the halls. Pile the proxy number three. Oh, and now I can talk to all of them. I can also talk to Cody now and Ellen. Shark rule number one, the more karaoke cu coupons, the better. Nice. Cody seems to be lacking confidence. She always panics about everything she does. I'm actually kind of curious. I wonder if our first date with uh, with Ellen is going to be going to the karaoke with her. She never struck me as a karaoke kind of person. Oh, hi, Charlotte. I have so many things that I need to do. Let's try to rank up first. That was very quick. It took me like, what, 10 minutes to finish up the story? Kind of crazy that that was all that was left of it. Oh, I don't have this unlocked. I don't know why. Is it because I haven't done my... Oh, because I haven't... Hmm? Is it because I just haven't found a mission or like a side mission for like chapter, uh, chapter 3? I'm going to guess that the rank up mission is in the interlude. interlude. Yeah, here it is. Ether. Now, let's do it real quick. The bad thing is that I'm falling behind on like levels and um and skill up materials for like my characters. I'm not even dealing good damage to it. Ouch. Usually she has more attack. It's probably because I don't have like a charge on her. And now, at the very least, I have a single charge on her. Don't dig it! Barely off from getting my next attack. Okay, there's one down. Should be two more. Two. One. What's it gonna be? Oh, one of these guys. These guys are pretty easy. That's probably it's like most dangerous attack. Nicole? And I'll probably ulti it. So I can start charging out for my next ult. And this should kill with the shatter. Yep. Three, two, one. What's it gonna be? Is it gonna be the robot one? Oh, it's gonna be both of these guys. This guy always uh, opens up with a jump attack. Oh. There we go. Finish this guy up. Onto a bug. Block that one. Attack both of them. I need to finish this guy up. Oh, I missed my attack! I like my parry. Yo, Sokaku? It's full charged up Sokaku as well. It's pretty good. And he should die with the ult. There we go. Yeah, I think my Ellen is really good. Like, 
her power level at the moment is really, really good. Because I was doing some Shiju defense, and she was doing the Shiju defense pretty easily, even going against enemies that uh, she didn't have like the counter attack counters on them. Uh, I was able to delete the shields of them very, very easily. But then I had to like the other side, and because I haven't really farmed out my Soldier 11, I had a really, really tough time. And yeah, I got screwed. <laughs> I got absolutely destroyed. Uh, level 15 is new difficulty. <laughs> Sorry, hiccup. So for now, I should do this. I always grab this one, cookie, and bowl of noodles. Actually, now that I have this, I can probably do this. This is probably the easiest easiest way to do it. Chicken with a scratch card at the newsstand. Okay. Uh, this is probably like the easiest one to actually do now because the uh, the bowls of noodles are really nice because they just give you like a buff, so you can do your little farming thingies. And complete an agent event. Uh, those are dailies, so yeah, it should be, it should be like really really easily to do them. Uh, and just to like, get to it, I doubt that the agent. Uh, what are they called? The agent events are very long. It's probably just like a you shout for like a little bit, maybe for like ten minutes, like a very very short visual novel kind of thingy. And then after that, you just get uh, you just get you just complete it. Because they're daily, so they're supposed to be like really, really short. But that's what I'm guessing right now. Uh, what should I do though? I don't really have much to do now that I completely finished everything. Like the side quests, I'm thinking of doing them uh, off stream because there's like not much point to actually do them on stream because they're they aren't they aren't very important. What are you doing here, Jao? Got a new birthday cakes and gift cakes, and with a little all over the city. If you're interested, take a flower a flyer and have a look. Hands out a flyer. Coffee and cake go in hand in hand. I can't be the only one who thinks that, right? There's nothing better than a cup of coffee with a delicious cupcake. These flowers for the cave store will disappear in no time. Hey, Ezra, how's it going? Welcome in. Hi, hi. Oh, wait, is it because the event is over? Yeah, it is because the event is over. So, Jal was supposed to be like right here doing like an event for these little guys. Oh, oh, oh. Girl, girl with gleaming eyes. It's so, Kaku. What are you doing here, Sokako? Well, limited edition barbecue flavor ice cream. Ugh, I've never seen that before. Doesn't sound very delicious. It looks familiar, like someone you met uh, from section six in the Hall of Zero before. Isn't she Sokaku? Is that her name? For the price of just one ice cream, you can taste two different foods. Isn't that a great deal? No wonder it's a limited edition being such a good deal. I'm doing great, just finished my work. Oh, nice, Ezra. That's super, super nice. I also finished my work not too long ago, and I also ate. My day, my day has been going great so far. Because I got to leave work early, so I was able to come here. I'm a little bit tired still because I didn't sleep well last night because I was watching something on uh, on Twitch. But uh, I'll probably just like take a nap later after I'm done with the stream. Uh, because after this, I'm just going to... Well, I already pretty much finished the thing that I wanted to do today, which was uh, finish the story for the game. So I'm probably just gonna do a little bit more. I don't know. I, I don't know if I want to do a, like an agent story, sort of eleven to like agent story because I need to. I need to finish it to unlock a boss in order to what you call it, in order to be able to level up her stuff. And it's been taking me way too long to finish the story for this game. Uh, so yeah, it's like a little bit of a toughie to actually just like start the uh, the agent stories. So I guess I'm late in the stream. Not really, actually. It's been like what, 40 minutes? Yeah, it's been 40 minutes. Uh, since I started, and I spent like 20 minutes just chapping at the start of the stream, so I wasn't really doing much. So yeah, you're not late. In fact, you're early. Maybe, probably. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure myself. Uh, it's not a great deal. No wonder it's limited edition being such a good deal. I'm curious to give it a try. Hey, boss, another ice cream, please. Thanks for the follow, Estra. <laughs> Gross. It doesn't even taste like... Well, of course it's not going to taste like meat. Just because it's barbecue doesn't mean that it's going to taste like meat. Actually, I wonder if there's some sort of like a snack that has like the barbecue flavor that actually tastes like meat. There's nothing, right? I've actually eaten uh, barbecue chip, uh, flavored chips. I don't like them, by the way. I'm not a fan of them. Uh, but they don't really taste like meat. Or... I don't know. It... 
would anyone even think about barbecue flavor to just like be meat flavor? I don't think so, right? Everybody thinks about the sauce, not the uh, not the meat in itself. What's the games you play beside this? Uh, so far I've only been playing some sort uh, bunch of like gotcha games, DDD. Uh, I played a bit of Wuba, but uh, because of things happening in life and stuff like that, I stopped playing Wuba very very early into the game on 1.0. Uh, I screwed up. I screwed up real badly for Wuwa. And now I think uh, 1.2 is going to come out soon. And I still haven't done much. I haven't unlocked even dailies on Wuwa. I need to get back to it. I really, really do need to get back to it. Uh, I play another gacha game, which is called Honkai Impact 3rd. And uh, I'm just thinking of playing all the MiHoYo games because I've heard they're all really good. And I'm just starting with like Honkai Impact. And the moment that I'm finished with like the uh, the 1.0 story, I think I'm going to move into Genshin. And then after that, I'm going to move into Honkai Star Rail. I just want to catch up with everything and then start going on to like the next thing kind of thing. I want to buy another ice cream just to wash the taste out of my mouth. I don't think that's... I don't think it'll work like that. Forget it. Nagel is shot at me again if she finds out I had eight ice creams in a row. Well, that's a lot of ice cream. Well, you have a good taste in choosing game. A lot of people would say that I have really bad taste in choosing game just by uh, selecting all the gacha games to play. <laughs> I also play a couple like gacha games on my phone. I'm waiting for Uma Musume. Uma Musume apparently got a not apparently it actually did get something uh an announcement that is gonna come out come to like NA or like EN in general uh that is gonna get translated to English and I do want to play that because uh. It has a lot of like good things, Uma Musume. The songs are great, the characters are nice, they're cute. Uh and apparently it's uh it's this is probably gonna be like the toughest thing for like Uma Musume. Just like trying to translate a lot of the things that are happening in like Japanese. For example, puns. Puns in Japanese are impossible to translate into English. You have to make new puns. And jokes. Jokes are also very, very difficult to translate. So I don't know how they're gonna end up doing that, but um I do want to give it a try, uh, Uma Musume on English because I played it on Japanese. Uh, what else? Arknights. I play Arknights as well, which is another gacha game. Uh, another one. Do you speak Japanese? No, uh, absolutely not. Here's the thing, though. I did learn how to read hiragana and katakana. I can. I think I can read them perfectly, but uh, I cannot understand uh, Japanese in general. Uh, I used to watch a lot of Japanese VTubers back in my day, like uh, a year ago before I started this whole like streaming thing and having like my own like model and character. Well, it's not my model, uh, just like streaming in general. Uh, I used to watch a lot of Japanese VTubers and because of that, I picked up on like some words and some lingo that they usually use on um, like their streams for wallet gaming. And that's pretty much all I can understand from like Japanese, some like gaming lingo and a couple of like very, very simple words. You have Katana Sword, like one of the real ones. Uh, it's like supposed to, like, is it sharp or is it uh, one of the sort of fake ones? Because I know that, uh, isn't that a thing that uh, Katanas can't really like be sold everywhere because uh, they're like sharp and dangerous. So usually uh, some of the places that sell Katanas, they're like not sharp and they're like sort of like, Fakish? Quote unquote fakish. Uh, I think I heard that somewhere. Uh, I heard, who knows, maybe it was some uh, some casual misinformation being thrown around on the internet. But still, it's pretty cool to have a katana. <laughs> I have like a cousin that also has like a, a katana. Oh, and uh, no, 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 no. It's just a cousin that has a katana. And I think someone else, I think from uh, when I was in college, I had a friend whose brother. Your Japanese friend gifting that's so cool, dude. I mean, somebody from Japan actually gifting you uh, like a katana, like a, an original katana made in Japan kind of thing. Now, here's the question for you: Are they heavy? Because it's it's a blade, right? It's like iron or steel or whatever. Uh, they're supposed to be like heavy, right? And they're also not like short. They're like very very long. The katanas. They're like a very very long blade or sword kind of thing. It's not like a short sword, it's more like a long sword, right? It's such a cool thing to just have a katana. I don't think I'd get a katana for myself, though. <laughs> because I'm very messy in my room, so I'd be just like, leaving my katana randomly somewhere, and one of those, these days that uh, if I had a katana, 
I would just like be walking around or something and just like cut myself or just like drop it and just hurt myself or maybe even hurt my cat. My cat is a little dummy and she uh she smacks herself against like the size of like a uh, furniture mostly because she can't really see it's like comparing to other swords. Ah, is it because the uh the blade is like thin? Actually, is the blade for katanas even supposed to be like thin? Actually, I don't know. <laughs> I know nothing about blades. I'm just a, I'm just a normal Wii, and I play a couple of like video games that have swords and all of them. I'm, I'm no expert. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know much about them. All right. While I'm talking, I should also start doing some things. Oh, Cookie! Then seeing someone approaching, Cookie lets out a series of soft purrs. Cute. Ooh, I know that a lot of people have gotten katanas because of Kimetsu no Yaiba. Because it's gotten like really, really popular, and uh, of course, another thing about Kimetsu no Yaiba is that it's uh, movies are about to come out. I'm really excited about them. Is there anything come here? Nope. Yes, she on. You probably talk to her because it's probably something to do with like the disc drives. I'll drive this. Music is the best language to convey feelings. I'm sure you already knew this, right? I've been trying to make uh, the melodies better align with the customer's feelings. Lately, it seems I've made a breakthrough. If I could uh, really write our feelings into the melodies, then their resulting drive disc should be able to maximize their potential. So I'd like uh, you to try it with me first. After all, there seems to be some sort of resonance between us. Am I getting rest? There's definitely some resonance between us, and now I'm risking her. Please take this as well. We'll need our heartstrings to resonate. This should help. What do you do besides streaming? Gaming! And watching other people stream. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, and of course, work and sleep. Those are the things that I do. I watch people stream, I play video games, I sleep, and I work. And that's about it. <laughs> I'm not very active. I'm not a very active person. I just stay home. I'm an at-home kind of guy. All right, when you're ready, please follow me inside. Sure. Tell me what's going on. Store level up. Advanced tuning unlocked. Guaranteed s rank drive disc. Unlock feature means that orientation. Orientation tuning can be done uh, on this resonance. Okay, first select the tuning orientation. How about woodpecker electro? Sure. Enhance output likelihood by favoring select the tuning criteria. Uh huh. Let's use the partition for this time. Use the calibrator to uh, perform orientation tuning. Mm -hmm. Let your innermost innermost aspirations guide you and specif specify the stats you want. A tune intertwined with your emotions. It's sure to be to your liking. I probably want. Wait, I don't need to do this, right? What jobs do you do? It's a it's a medicine kind of job. I work on medicine. I'm not giving up that much info though. <laughs> I think this is good enough, and and I think it's vague enough for people to not know what I, I do. I think I did mention it once in like one stream, but it since I'm not like a affiliate or partner or anything that bot is like long gone forever gone oh it doesn't use more if i want to use like orientation that's interesting that's pretty cool it also tells me the main stats that it can have i'll tell it oh wait no the subsets can be literally anything hmm oh gosh this is a lot okay so Four, five, and six are the important ones that I want to use like orientation on, because they're the ones that have like the varied uh, main stats. Sorry. Uh, meanwhile, three, two, and one have only a single main stat, and you just got gotta worry about the the substats. Database. Nice. All right. So yeah, I think I should totally do the Solar Eleven thingy. I want to know if uh, Solar Eleven's story is actually interesting, or maybe I should just like, hmm, hmm. I'm thinking here. I'm thinking here. Should I continue with DZZ? Maybe I should just do the Agent Stories off stream. This is a hundred percent Dinas. This is a hundred percent like counts. This is probably Nekomatas. The Iron Witch. Who could this be? It's Grace. 
Wait. This is Nekomata. Who is who's the other one? Who are you? Coletta. Schoolyard powerhouse. The game is fun. Yeah, it is fun. It's very simple to get uh, into. Very, you can get into it like very, very easily. Locked, locked. Locked, locked, locked. Locked. Oh, wait, no, this one isn't locked. It's very easy to get into. The combat's not very complicated. And uh, it just came out not too long ago. 1.1 is going to be like tomorrow. Recommended attributes fire hard. Mull in the hole. Complete part B of this agent's story and reach level 24 on internal to unlock. Let's try it. Let's try it out. You're about to enter in a master story territory. You cannot complete missions all attached one. This one. Continue, continue. Let's see how long agent stories are. Actually, I think I'm gonna find an example of how long an agent story can be somewhere else. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Wait, who is this person? Why am I sub to this person? Huh? What? Unsubscribe? Yes? Who is that guy? Who is this person? I don't even... Huh? Okay. I guess I'll just ignore it. Let's look for it. Uh, There's definitely someone that I've watched before. It's a Japanese VTuber that I used to watch back in the day. Why didn't you make an overlay for a stream? Because I'm just doing it for a hobby. I'll probably make a uh, work on making one later after I get my what you call it after I get my model. I should probably look in subscriptions instead of just my homepage for YouTube. Here she is. Here she is. Videos, not videos, live. I've seen that this person has uh, has been playing five hours. Is it really five hours for the story? Or is it because she japs? One hour, two hours. She's about to hit three hours. All right. By this point, she's doing Holo Zero. She finished Holo Zero. I think she's doing side missions now. Yeah, it's only like two hours. Two and a half hours. Or say three hours. No, it is two and a half hours. Oh, that's nice. They're actually not that long. I can probably fit the story here. So let me check my Discord real quick. Gotta make sure. <laughs> Gotta make sure nothing's going on 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 uh, Discord. All right, there we go. One day at the noodle shop on Sixth Street in Janus Quarter, new editor, an extremely important top secret meeting is taking place. The secrets smell delicious, like noodle soup. Tonight. Or we lost saw each other. Don't be late. Don't give me that look. That's what the client said. <laughs> That's something she'd say, alright. Okay, I've done my part. I have a lot of questions, but I won't bring them up before the commission reaches the crucial stage. My intelligence network is still under relentless attacks from my peers. The last thing I want to do is direct their attention to my favorite proxy. Good luck. Excuse me, if you're not planning to have noodles and just want to chat. Could you please go somewhere else? Wait, we didn't even buy noodles? What are we doing? Even if, even if it's like a meeting, at least buy some noodles, eat something. Oh gosh, I'm hungry now. I'm getting hungry. I want some noodles. On the same night, in a certain corner on 6th Street in Janus Quarter, new editor. <laughs> How? Yeah, I'll probably do all the side quests off stream, and uh, I might try to actually do the uh, this like story quests, agent stories on stream because it seems that uh. When I was watching that person as an example of how long agent stories actually take, uh, it seemed like it had like a little bit of like a cutscene at the end, so it might be important. So might as well watch it, or like do them on stream. Yeah.
Oh, changes. At the very least, the good thing is that these quests are voiced. I mean, there's a lot of things in this game that are voiced. I'm surprised. I guess maybe that's the power of uh, Hungi. Yeah, I'm Hungi, Ghost. How are you doing? Hi, hi. How have you been doing, Ghost? <laughs> Once again, I've been missing for half a week. I hope your weekend was uh, was very, very good. Enjoyable and fun. You've been doing Hungi, then eat. You haven't eaten lunch? Actually, I can't remember your time zone, Ghost. I can't remember you're ahead of or behind me. And by how much. Uh, he wants to carry this mission alone instead of going with, with his and his rebel support. Oh, PST. Yeah, you have the same time zone as me. Nice. And the curious thing is that I don't... Uh, over here, we don't use daylight. Wait. I think I just saw a flash of light. Is it gonna rain? Oh, it is gonna rain. Oh, and there's the thunder. Alright, uh... Ghost, I know I was just talking to you. Tell me about your week. <laughs> Tell me about your week. Uh, I'm going to be right back. Kitty, I'm sorry. I'm going to be right back because there's laundry outside. And uh, I got to gotta grab it real quick before uh, it starts raining. Okay? Um, Give me a second. Where am I? Where's this thing? All right, BRB. I'm back. Luckily, there were only just uh, some jeans and uh, some shorts outside. Hung outside, so it was pretty fast. Grabbing them. I also closed the windows. <sighs> because uh, water always finds a way to get inside the house through the windows. It always finds a way. And I don't want the furniture to get wet, because when the furniture gets wet, it gets damaged. And when it gets damaged, then, uh, yeah, it gets really bad. Your week has been hungry? Aww, why? You haven't eaten well? What's up, ghost? You should eat well. You should eat good food. Good food is important. Whew. Oh, wait, the dude is only... <laughs> the dude is only asking for me and is saying uh, that Soldier 11 is not needed. Oh, no, 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 no. It's just like we won't have support. It'll just be Solar Lemon and me on the mission. It's fine. I'm going to be controlling her. There's no way something goes wrong. I'm just way too good at this game. It's not even difficulty five. It's fine. Oh, the idea of the rebels is that if we get caught, maybe we can just like catch them and then use them as scapegoats. Maybe was that the plan? Hmm. There we go. But I'm looking for something else. There, we, there it is. Ah, 
as expected of Soldier 11. I still want to know what connection Soldier 11 has to NB. I wonder if there's like maybe like a clue or something like that uh, at the end of the agent story. None that day. I mean, another big issue is that the, the boss, the traitor, the mole, is, like, idolizing Phaeton way too much to the point that they think that we're invincible and we can do whatever the hell we want, which is a toughie. Mm, and I'm guessing this is the reason why she's hunting the mole down. Hmm. Right. Investigation. Deep treason. Should use the 478 breathing technique when you're nervous. Give it a try, proxy. Huh? Nani? There's over 400 breathing techniques? I should be more nervous about putting my reputation on the line like this. Strangely enough, though, I'm feeling quite calm. Probably because your proxy skills have earned my trust. Working with you is quite the experience. That's nice of her to say. That's very, very nice of her to say. You know, to her being like a soldier and stuff like that, or maybe not like a soldier, but she's literally called a soldier 11. But uh, her being somebody that's very, like, mm, strict. I think that's the word that I'm looking for. I was thinking that maybe she was going to be a lot meaner to me since I do illegal stuff. Oops. What you got to say, Belle? This commission has gotten complicated, but I can still keep up. Mm -hmm. Me too. To be an easy commission. Deep treason. And yeah, I'll only use her. Illegal, yes. Please select at least two agents. Damn. Oh, maybe. Hmm. It's something like this. Oh, she's level fifty. Damn, she's strong. Oh, I don't have a bang boo. Damn. Hmm. Over here, me and my homies love doing illegal stuff. Like being mean to people. <laughs> All right. I am gonna a hundred percent guess that at the end of the story, uh, this weapon is gonna be the boss that I'm gonna end up unlocking for, for or like the boss that I need to upgrade Soldier 11's passive skills. And the mole is gonna get inside the weapon and we're gonna have to like defeat it. And then after defeating it, we're gonna catch the, the mole, uh, bring him out from like the little boss thingy, whatever it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be some like mech kind of thing. Uh, and after that, we're just like, I don't know, Soldier 11 becomes like a hero or something like that. And she says, thank you, you guys aren't too bad. See ya. I'm gonna guess that's how the story is gonna go. Okay, fairy, just glazing its is what? It's glazing itself. It, it, glazing is the right word, right? Oh god. <laughs> Ghost, was that the right brain rod? <laughs> Mr. Mole must not be as simple as he seems to have info on this place. Oh, that's a loud thunder. If it were to get exposed, that makes Soda 11 even more suspicious. We have to be careful. I don't know anymore. Ghost! I thought you were the expert in Brain Rod. What are you doing? What's going on? Then I got a cheater? No! In Valorant? What? Wait, for real? You got a Vanguard? The, uh, what do we call it? Yo, what the hell? But you, you play in console, right? How can there be a cheater on console? What? Did they mod their console? A mech which seems to be blocking the military, which is, seems to belong to the military, is blocking the pad. We'll need to take care of it quickly to make sure Soldier Lemon isn't exposed. A battle is inevitable. 
No, you can play console and PC. Oh, right, you did. Ah, that's right. You did mention that, that you can use some sort of like emulator or something to play console and PC. Go, my little piggies. Ow. I don't know if I'm going to attack twice against this guy. I am. Okay, good. You need some, like, third-party thing in a controller. Yeah, well, I'm going to guess the controller is, like, the easy part, and I wonder how what the third party is. I wonder if that's why it got triggered, or, like, Vanguard got triggered, because of somebody playing on the PC, the, uh, the console version of, like, Valorant. <clears throat> because there should be, like, a lot of, like, third party thingies um, that are, like, illegal on, like, Riot's TOS. Like, for example, you're not supposed to be able to, like, mod the game as in just, like, add your own unique models or add your unique, like, sound effects into the game. Now, something else probably downloaded a sheet. Something else probably downloaded a sheet. Did the game just, like, close itself as soon as you got into, like, the lobby or, like, into, like, the game? Hmm. Or did it take a time? Uh, so oh, or did it take a while? Nice. Did you play, for example, like five rounds and then the game closed off? It was like five rounds and then they detected it? Mm. I wonder if I can actually just like fight one of them and she if she's going to get mad at me. I don't want to though. I want to finish this fast. And was there somebody on the inside the game just like going absolutely ham, just getting headshots everywhere, top bragging and going like insane? Because I also know that uh, some cheats, apparently you can just like turn them on and off from like videos that I've watched of like people getting caught cheating. And uh, I wonder if it's just like that guy was just like doing really, really badly, and he's just like, oh, I'm done with this, activating cheat mode, and you've been banned, kind of thingy. Pure State Theorals roam the hollows, ready to tear apart any targets that come they come across. Well, Surreal Lemon's mobility and efficiency make the trip far less risky than one would expect. I mean, I was doing good, probably, because I'm gold. You were gold. Oh, yeah, you did say that you were gold. And they basically, <laughs> they're basically bots, and none of them seem like they were cheating. Huh. Yeah, who knows? Maybe it is, like I said, uh, that somebody just like got real tired of sucking and they decided to just turn on the sheets and then they got banned immediately. Target of the mission is close at hand. I mean, if somebody's really like in game and they're cheating, then uh, you think you know who did it? Who did it? And why? Give me all the information. Ghost, you have all the gossip. Give me all of the gossip. The info the spy asked us to steal is right there here. But I can't see anything. Hmm. Huh? Slightly leaning down, the youngest, uh, the young sergeant stares at the uh, small guide next to her. Through sensory synchronization, her stern eyes hidden between her goggles, behind her goggles, are directly projected into view. Killjoy, she used old. It's supposed to be on the ground, but it was on the wall. Really? Aren't there some strats where you can place it on the wall, for example, on ascent? I'm pretty sure, like, for on a sand, you can put in like on a on a lamp, or you just like abuse the uh, the geometry. It was on Lotus, huh? That's like the dumbest way to lose your account, dude. You're playing the game. Out of all the things that you could have done with your sheets, you decide to use it. To put a damn Killjoy ult on the wall, and then you lose your account immediately. Like, what? 
and you still broke it. That's even worse. <laughs> This third, I mean, if it really is this guy, he, this guy just lost his account for nothing. And actually, I, I don't know if you get hardware banned uh, by Vanguard. It's, it's cr gonna be insanely, even more crazy if you do get hardware banned by Vanguard. Because that means that this dude did that failed at what he was doing and got banned on Valorant, uh Legends of Runeterra, uh League of Legends. They don't unban people. Yeah, they don't. They just say you screw it. And they probably won't be even be able to play the uh, the League of MMO on the, that account because they're it I'm gonna guess that once you get flagged by uh Vanguard in any of the games you get banned in all the other games. If they don't then it makes no sense. That they don't do that. <sighs> scratchy, scratchy. Yikes. Hmm. I mean, the, the weapon's gonna become public later on, right? It's, it's fine if I just get a sneak peek, right? Aww. Having given instructions, throw the lemon jocks away without looking back. Oh, do tell me, ghost. What's the new evidence that you just got? Tell me all about it. I mean, it's probably just to be sure that uh they don't get caught on the way out. Or something, but why would we even get caught on the way out? It is weird. I throw my recon, she gets scanned, I move and she keeps looking at me through a wall. Does she like lock onto you? How are you how are you seeing this? I don't remember uh Valorant having a spectate mode. Not a spectate mode, but like a VOD review kind of thingy. Does Valorant really have like a VOD review thing? Like, you can review your games. A replay, replay, a replay system. That's what it's called, not a VOD review. Uh... Non pure memory sense, it was like two minutes ago. Brother. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be a loud one. Okay, maybe it wasn't as loud as I thought. As I was saying, brother, if it happened to me, I wouldn't even be able to remember what happened a single minute ago. I'd be so lost. I had seen that somebody got terminated and just be like, what? What even happened in the game for you to get terminated? Like, it terminates the game and it terminates my memory of the game. <laughs> That's what would happen to me. At the very moment, the athletic junk sergeant bounced back towards the bank booth. It's a bomb! It is a bomb. Pretty loud one, too. Luckily, the bank boo followed Sword 11's orders and definitely covered its ears, preventing the explosion from affecting its synchronized senses. Seeing this, the junk sergeant nods approvingly. I sent my friend a photo of the termination. He said, it's a PC. He didn't believe me when I said console. Yeah, I mean, I was also like... I also did ask you, like, 
what is it on PC? Yeah, like, are you playing on PC? Like, there's no way somebody just like put sheets on like uh on console. But if they do the, like the third party thingy, then it's just like uh, then yeah, it's like a a reason or like a way that they can actually use sheets. Because probably like the only way to actually put sheets on a on a console is to just like mod your console. And uh, I don't think any of the newest consoles are like currently moddable or they're or easily moddable. The thing is, they still top rack the whole game. Yeah, because you're you just built different, Ghost. You're a pro now. You're insane. <laughs> she didn't stand no chance. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you'd see some actual real cheaters going against you. Back in the day, back in my day, I say as my back continues to crack. Um, I used to play Apex Legends, like a lot. Like I mentioned it. Let me switch. I mentioned it before, but I already played it. I played Rank, and I used to be going all the way to like Diamond, and then one season I decided to go all the way to like Masters, and I reached it. And uh, apparently, Apex is like absolutely in bested with cheaters on certain regions on other regions it's a little bit more safe uh in terms of like the amount of cheaters that they might be or maybe it's just based on like time zones but basically uh ec anti-cheats does nothing against cheaters in apex legends and uh yeah it's uh you get <laughs> you get quite diffed by cheaters in, <laughs> in apex so i wonder if you'd be able to just like uh be saying things like cheaters stand no chance against the apex cheaters. You don't know what true cheaters are. The Valorant cheaters are weak. Their sheets are not good enough. They get terminated. They're garbage. Garbaggio. Ah, the wind. I hope it's not going through the mic. Oh, nah, Apex is scary. Really? You think Apex is scary? I heard someone else say that Apex is scary as well. Uh, because of like the uh the mobility. Another one of the streamers that I watched, they mentioned that it's scary, but I don't think it's scary myself. It's fun. Uh, I played it with a friend and I was destroyed. Well, maybe it's because your friend was like high level and <laughs> you got put with other high level people. But once you start learning, oh, right. When I start playing the game as well, I got destroyed a lot to the point that I quit playing the game. Like for real, I quit. I just said, I, I give up. I'm getting diff too hard. I can't play this game. I gotta play something else to just like raise my ego because this is destroying it. And I stopped playing for like a couple of like years. And it was only uh not too long ago that I got into it, like two years ago. One, two years ago, uh from watching Japanese VTubers because it was really popular for Japanese VTubers to play Apex. And then I got really good at the game, so yeah. <laughs> and now I'm not trash. Well, I'm still kind of trash, but I'm not as trash as before. But it feels really good when you start playing the Apex well. It's it's very um, it's very satisfying because it has like a lot of like sound effects and just like full on cracking somebody or like headshot cracking somebody and it does like the little sound effect special sound effect for it. It feels really good. <laughs> I'm EP. <laughs> oh. Ooh, and if they catch a glimpse of her, they'll immediately know that it's Soldier 11 because she's been gone for a while, right? Mm-hmm. It'd be troublesome, to say the least. My question is, why is Killjoy cheating in Unrated? I mean, why do people even cheat? Just get good at the game. It's just that there's like no reason. P people pay for those things. Those things are free. They pay for them. For them to just like, for the game to just like get played for them. 
yeah, just aim for their heads and then <laughs> the game's easy. Yeah, it's easy, man. You can do it. I can do it sometimes. <laughs> Just, just get good, man. It's just that easy. Just two words. Get it good. Hmm. Interesting how she changed her, the tone of her voice. I should really play more Valorant though, just to get better at the game so I'm not like a, an absolute sandbag to anyone that plays with me. Alright, Fairy, do your work. Uh, here it is. Just full of unknowns. I don't play Valorant, only console. No ping too much on a PC. Yeah, that's the thing. I can very easily play it on, uh, I need that. Get very easily. Oh, I'm gonna get caught. Ah, shit. Damn. Uh, activate camouflage to evade them. I don't want to fight them. They got eyes. <laughs> With Bell. Hi, oh, cheese. There's a crossplay setting, and then the game places me with only Xbox and PC playing with controllers, never any PlayStation. Oh, oh I thought she was just talking to me. Almost about to get really, to get really sad. I think it's raining now. I can smell rain. Nope, no rain yet. So, hmm. So you can only crossplay. I've never seen like crossplay options on like Valorant, and I think I opened up, opened it up like uh, last night, and they didn't give me any like option for like crossplay. So maybe it only shows up if you have a controller connected. Hmm. By any means necessary. After a series of infiltration maneuvers, the group arrives at the location Ferry indicated. There stands a small military communication device, quite similar to the transmission device Mr. Mole had requested to be set up on a previous mission. Then places me with only Xbox. Description says crossplay lets you face off against players from other console platforms. Then places me with only Xbox. I don't know, maybe it's just not popular on PlayStation. Maybe all the PlayStation homies hate Valorant. Hmm. But that one was loud. Uh, you briefly explained Ferris' intentions. Now I have friends with PlayStation, they play with only PlayStation. And can you guys play together? Like, do you usually like invite them to play with you? Hmm. Yeah, you think that she'd be a little bit more careful and doubt my plans.
Yeah, but like you never meet people in your games. Hmm. Yeah, you mentioned that. I'm gonna guess that when you get in game, they have like a little log logo next to like their name or something like that, and it shows that if they're playing on PC, on Xbox, or on PlayStation. Oh, if only the real one was here. Oh, Ooh, brother. <laughs> she doesn't know. She's lacking critical information. Sora 11 agrees without any hesitation. She even tells them the most recent password she knows of to access their network. Nice. Hey. Yeah, she just like kind of trash talked us, saying that we were not good, but we're still like, uh, we're we are Peyton, and we're can probably steal all the information now because we also have Fairy with us. Yeah. <laughs> is she complimenting Peyton or is she insulting us? <laughs> Rather than that, get their gallery. <laughs> Nice. That was fast. That's all the way back, though. Wait. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I didn't expect this. Ah. Oh. Sure, give me the pressure. I don't mind, I don't mind. I played with fire pressure a lot on Hollow Zero, so I should be fine. Oh wait, I should definitely go down. Thanks, I guess. Ooh, if I move up, am I gonna end up fighting this dude? I am. I don't want to. Then I can just do this. Um, this one. This one's the important one. The dodge cooldown. There we go. Continue. Whoa! I really wish that I had brought a hand B. Oh, I messed that one up. But I guess she's dealing real good damage. She immediately destroyed that thing the moment that I hit the, uh, that I stunned it. Having obtained the data, Sora 11 gets in touch with Mr. Mall. And Sora Yokatana! I don't doubt that this is going to be a trap. <clears throat> sure, dude. Mm hmm. Mr. Mole disconnects. Hmm. 
maroon shade. I'm pretty sure this isn't my name, though. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what my name was. I can't remember. It's been so long since I played this. It might have been something like Crimson Shade. He <laughs> she doesn't know. <laughs> Nyech. Is that the end? That is the end. Is that the end end though? Nope. <laughs> huh? Blood Red Melody. <laughs> I mean, it did sound cool. Not the one in English, but the one in Japanese did sound cool. I mean, even though she's uh, her reputation is getting quote unquote stained, she's doing it for a good cause, like catching them all. So at the end of the day, it's not that bad, or it shouldn't be that bad. Although she looks kind of sad. Fair. I hear there's videos here prohibited in the military. Eh. We'll be able to reel the net in uh, on the next separation. Nice. I'm surprised it wasn't over there. Then and there. Oh my gotcha bulls looking. I'm saving on this one. Oh, I got another one. Let's see if I can get lucky. On the last one, I got double A. I'll be happy if I get double A. Nah, single A, and it's W engine. Ugh. Gross. Unlucky. Luckily, Soldier 11 didn't blow her cover. All thanks to you. I don't want to see that officer lady have bad luck either. Though she occasionally gives off a creepy vibe and always calls us by the wrong names. But she likes noodles. It shows she has great taste and is a good person. Just because of that? Judging by that, you don't really dislike her, do you? Alright, I'll drop it. Well, considering the big favor we did for her, you think she'd have our name right by now, don't you think? What's her codename again? I actually can't remember. Speaking of which, what's her codename again? Oh no, my memory's getting fuzzy. Could it be because deep down we know that the alias is somehow related to the color red, so it just keeps slipping our minds? Really? I don't know what this would mean. Hey, if we look at it this way, maybe Soda Lemon also picked up on the uh, fact that it's an alias related to the color. And that's why she keeps getting it wrong? Is that some sharp intuition she's developed on battlefields? We should hurry up and take her to buy a lottery ticket. Forget it. I guess we can slack off just a little bit more <clears throat> before the next private message contact. Take a break! Agent story completed. Archive to view archive. And now I can do the last one. Hmm, what time is it? Hmm, I might do this one, and depending on how long it takes, I might just do a little bit of Wuwa or end. So let's see. I do really need to complete at the very least one agent story because of like the uh, my little missions, errands kind of thingies. One day after the second commission with Soldier 11, in the random place store parking lot on the 6th Street in Janus Quarter, New Eridu, this is what I expected from my trusted pro professional, old friend. You did great. The client's very happy. We almost did it. 
Hey, hurry up, mister. I'm still waiting here. <laughs> That's right, you should pay your bill. No problem, righto. Still gonna be at the usual spot. Hmm, the usual spot again. I really have doubts about her counter surveillance awareness. On that same night, in a certain corner on 6th Street in Janus Quarter, New Eridu. It is indeed the same corner. She's totally just she's totally just selecting this corner because of the cat. She wants the cat all to herself. The client hasn't arrived yet. Let's wait for her first. Without any warning, Sergeant Eleven's voice suddenly comes from behind. I see. But I'm helping you. I need to know. Kinda. Maybe. Probably. I don't know. Okay. Hmm? Hmm? Oh. Actually, that was kind of cute. With her voice. The blood of traitors. Extra spicy noodles. <laughs> and? So she does have a cute side. Hey, and now she remembers my name, even though I don't remember it myself. I don't even know if Pinson Twilight is actually my name. Ooh, my bad, sister. I already betrayed you. I lied to you. I'm actually Phaeton. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't know. Enter the hall to meet with the rebel leader in the abandoned metro. Sorry, I might have gone a bit too far. I've been told I'm kind of awkward in social situations. Yeah, I bet. A sergeant should be able to understand and control the morale of their troop. I still have a lot to learn. I'll do fine, Soldier 11. Uh, after you tell me your secret would end be. I do need to know that your secret would end be. I must. What's up, Belle? You can tell when, uh, you can tell when Fairy is especially capable. She's always kind of annoying. Eh? Did I even read that correctly? Oh, we didn't. On the whole. There we go. Go again, yo, this one. Alright, then head in. To the straight path. Hey. Whoa, that's a lot of people. Or are we surrounded just to like uh threaten us in the case we we're here to like catch him kind of thing? Classic villain. <laughs> About that. <laughs> About that, buddy.
Okay, at the very least you're right on that one. But on the other one, uh, you need to retract that because I am Peyton. Me? Nope. <sighs> Shepherd. Shepherd. Actually, it's kind of good. Shepard got compromised, but at the very least, he hasn't like put my name as Peyton in like any of the jobs or the information that he's given out. The rebels got gradually close in around them. The Tory Eleven stands still as if frozen. The only audible sound her light breath, uh, the only audible sound her light breath rushing through the hair next to her cheek, making subtle murmurs through the microphone. Yanni! Classic villain? Oops. I wonder if this is a bluff. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, dude. Just, just, you're yapping too much. Just, just stop. Let's fight. I'll beat you up. Sure, dude. Copium. I guess this is another cute side of her. She's actually caring more about her allies rather than herself. So the lemon has left the squad. Damn. They couldn't actually join back in. Would have been kind of cool. Uh, um... So fight. <laughs> oh, we beat it without even having enough to fight. Nice. That was fast. She should have enough evidence to actually say that she's not the traitor by now. Nice. She's not that far. Anything else? Whoa. Yeah, I mean, it'd be useful if it wasn't aiming at literally nothing. Oh, 
Ah, here it is. I guess if I had done this like way way earlier, I would have learned about this mechanic like a long time ago. One more. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> eh, eh. I mean, we do need to communicate with her, but hey. Eh. If someone was here not long ago, and there's a high chance that the communication device is still uh, functional, start from an encrypted channel or open all receivers. So the bottom option was the one that I should have chosen. Hmm, total eleven is in danger. Good job, Fairy. She trigger. Oops. But This is when you guys would be saying, I'll clear a path for you. <laughs> oh, I got all the tropes in my head. I remember all of them. She's probably a sniper. She's just trigger. She's 100% trigger. Well, you're wondering what the mysterious woman heard, you heard a loud bang in the distance. Suddenly you see a rebel soldier who had been quietly sneaking towards you fall dead close by. Dead? It is Trigger. Hmm? Trigger is... Uh, the codename Trigger for like a sniper? I think it's really good. The edge goes hard on it. But that's good. <laughs> it's, it sounds really cool. Yes, ma'am. All right, time to leave. Yep. Well, that I could actually talk to her. She doesn't have like a model or anything. And who knows if she'll ever have a model. But you're still fighting. I still need one of these though. Oh. Trigger. Shit this dude. Hmm. 
Oh, nice. She just does it by itself. It's not a puzzle. I was thinking it was going to get. Bleh. I thought it was going to be a puzzle. Bang. Oh, bang. Pentakill. I haven't gotten one of those in a while. Oh, oh. Damn. Soldier 11 has a pretty strong squad behind her. Uh, I'm going to guess that I'm going to get this thingy later. Hopefully. this is, There's no way this is like the final battle, right? This is probably just going to be like help Soldier 11. And then right after this, it's going to be uh, find them all and catch them all. Now, the thing that sucks is that the only one that's strong right now is Nicole. Boom. Because I'm, I'm dealing like zero damage to all the enemies. Okay, okay. That's not the one that I wanted to attack. This should kill, right? There we go. And now, get ulted. This one. All right, that was pretty good. Even though it looked kind of messy, just like having both of the supports. Hey. Well, they move pretty fast. Oh. Hey, <laughs> so they actually do that. It's canon that they actually just block the bullets. Yikes. Professional military teamwork. Sure, dude. Oh, triggers here. I think that's what she, uh, I was saying. <laughs> yep, she's going to do it. <laughs> Yep, the fake one. Surely I'm fake. Haha. <laughs> I don't think that meant anything, but uh, I'm not fake. Just, it's just that you don't know. You're lacking critical information. So 11 has joined the team. So I do get a little bit of like a battle, and now I gotta chase after them. You just gotta move carefully so that I don't end up missing the last uh, special thingy. <laughs> About that, <laughs> poor Mr. Moy is so confused. <laughs> I 
and then they all die. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That was a nice voice acting <laughs> for like an extra. Alright, time to take this guy down. Take it. We must win time for them. Don't be a coward. Eh? Well, I'm sorry, little rebel dude. Uh, you tried to give up, but uh. I'm gonna have to beat you up. Or maybe? Hey, I mean... This dead end is pretty good. You don't get absolutely destroyed by us. And maybe, you know, like, die. Because... Who was it? Was it Solar Eleven or was it Trigger? They mentioned killing people. So it's just like, uh, I I'm sure you want to live, so... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, and the idea is that they're thinking that she's not going to have mercy on them, even if they give up. You know, this whole thing about her hating, like, traitors, I wonder if it has something to do with Anby. I'm just really, really curious. Hello, uh... Nah, she burns the, uh, the blood. It's fine. There's no blood on her hands. Don't get burned. Beat them up. I was looking for my phone. My phone's like right there tracking them. I really want to get another bone. Just for tracking. Ah, oh, there are so many things that I want, man. Man. Sucks. Oh, there we go. Ow. I hope it hits the bot. It did not hit the bot. Oh, it did hit the bot. But just not fully hit it. There we go. Back to Nicole. And then Soldier 11. There we go. Easy. God damn, that's a scream. I mean, you don't look brave enough to actually defect, so I actually believe him. Pit. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, maybe now that you decided to actually fight back, but uh, if you had given up at the start, maybe the she'd have a little bit more mercy on you. Oh, oh thanks for the info. Hmm. <laughs> you already get hit enough? Also, just hit you? Not like slash you or shoot you or kill you? Not about trade. I mean, it is true. If she really was that evil, she'd just have killed them off right then and there. There'd be nothing to, like, stop her from doing it. Mm hmm. So she has killed traitors, but it was an order from above to kill them. It wasn't her choice. Hey. I think I already got my answer. Burokchi. Alright. There it is. And it'll be an easy one. Sure, just heal me up. Continue. Nyong. All right, now let's see what this secret boss is all about. Oh, movie. I knew it. <laughs> I've 100% already fought. Wait, is it? Oh no, it's slightly different. It's not the same mech. Oh, that was close. I'm not reading what's going on. I'm, I'm too concentrated in fighting. Oh, I know that enemy though. That's the one that I've been seeing. I mean, I can beat the boss. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Now I gotta deal with this guy. Ow. Nice misses, dude. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. My bad.
burn and finisher. You know, I didn't expect there to be movies on this kind of like quest. I was only expecting because I saw it while well, I was just like looking over to see how long uh, the agent stories normally are. The one that I saw was the Coletta one, and I saw that it ended on a comic thingy. So, or I don't know if it actually ended then and there, but I did only see a comic thingy. I didn't see anything that looked like a cutscene. So I thought there was going to be only those like comic thingies or this sort of like talking scenes. <laughs> About that. <laughs> All right, I need to leave because I'm the proxy. I'm the illegal dude here. Oh. Uh huh. <laughs> eh? Do we really have to tell him? No. <laughs> Let me be your do no. <laughs> no, he was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say, let me be your mo. No, just let me be your dog. No. Nah. <laughs> I mean, it's his fault. I mean, he was idolizing Python, and then he was starting like to trash talk me, but it was actually the real Python. So yeah, he that's kind of deserved, and he was a traitor, so deserved. Sucks for him, but deserved. It didn't take too long. It took like 30 minutes to actually finish it, I think. Ah. True. But what were they doing in the hollow in the first place if they don't have prisoners or like, not prisoners, if they don't have like soldiers that can actually have some good hollow adaptability, ether adaptability? Oops. Gotta click. Is that really okay? I'm a proxy. You know, you know? <laughs> she doesn't know. <laughs> she still doesn't know. I'm surprised that I'm actually telling her about this. <laughs> She's not wrong, though. <laughs> mm, just really strict, but she's not a bad person. <laughs> Crimson chili pepper. <laughs> One day she'll get it. One day. <laughs> that that that's a way to say goodbye. 
has been only an aroma of noodles on the breeze. My friends are waiting for me. Let's go back after a little more shopping. Hmm. Discuss the commission with Val. So back I go. I'm actually curious if she's gonna end up showing uh in the story. Because so far it doesn't seem like she currently fits any spot in the story. Maybe with public security, but she's not public security, right? She's supposed to be like something more special, like a special forces. Farewell, Mr. Mole. He still found out about our identity in the end because we told him, but it feels good to be Python for a change. Mr. Mole started suspecting us a long time ago. That's a bit scary. I blame Shepard. Anyway, this assignment wasn't good for the heart. When the Python account was still active, we didn't even have enough time to handle all the legit assignments, so we probably wouldn't have taken on this one, right? That would have been a bit of a shame, really. Hmm. If we hadn't taken on this commission, we wouldn't have met Soldier 11. This sergeant has something pure about her. She could become dangerous to shine brightly. It's this purity that makes people worry unnecessarily. And then there's her tenet, the Spartan-like discipline, the pride that comes from being a soldier, and the occasional bouts of clumsiness. This Soldier 11 is definitely not the affectionate friend type, but somehow still makes you want to eat noodles with her. It's probably not bad if there's a chance for us to establish long-term contact with her. Why you think the same, right? Take a break. And 07, that's the end of it. Agent story completed. Archived, video archived. Uh, click on this. Wait. Where do I check this? Uh, there was a part where it told me that I could actually gain stuff from it, right? Where is it? Where do I click? Or am I supposed to click? Yeah, they really aren't that long. I mean, I don't need to scroll down that much. I wonder if all of them are going to be like this, like, shortish. It's three acts, though. Three short acts. It's not bad. Business. Cats lost and found. Oh, she's so cute. Uh, Cats lost and found. Two. B. Why B? The hidden story is step by step. Vagrant's final resting place. place. Yeah. The Zero Zone. Just another day at the video store. Oh, this is like the. Wow, she's pretty. Damn! <laughs> A call from the Hall's heart. Hey! This looks pretty cool. Mention Undinkable. This is also really nice. But I do like her normal looks. But of their normal looks, they're really nice. Mission and think of two. Hey. The Midnight Pursuit. I love the art style. I love this art style. It's so nice. So how can I check this? This to be some... Maybe if we look at another one. Oh, maybe she's just telling me about the new ones. Yeah, it's probably just telling me about the new ones. Now, oops, wrong one. F2, claim, 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 claim. Grade one agent to trust three. Complete the main story. It may not pursue. Training expert challenges. Now the Typhoon Slugger is uh, open, and now can, I can actually full upgrade the uh, Soldier 11. Which is nice. What else is there? Mail. Satisfaction survey. Two satisfaction surveys, huh? Interesting. 22 hours. I should do this because it gives me 60 polychromes. It's not bad. Notices. I don't care. Agent stories. Who am I? I wonder if I can actually see them. Oh, or see like Soldier 11 if I go outside. Maybe she'll be at the noodle shops. No, but Piper's here and Lucy, what? All right, now this is surprising. I didn't, out of all the characters that could have shown up uh, outside, I did not expect uh, 
Lucy and Piper to actually show up right here, especially because they haven't been introduced in the story like at all. We know nothing about the Sons of, of Caledon, uh, and they should be in the outer edge, right? Like on the movie, on the trailer movie for them, they actually show up uh, on the uh, on like a very barren wasteland kind of area. So I'm really surprised that they're showing up at the city. What do I have to say? Lucy, look, a duck is working on the newsstand. It's so cute. I want to take a closer look. You're not usually interested in cute animals, Piper. Don't think I don't know. You just want to use it as an excuse to buy scratch cards. Ouch. That was brutal, getting called out like that. Aren't you being a little harsh, Lucy? We finally got a chance to come to the city after all. It's precisely because we don't come all the way here often that we need to hurry up and purchase all the supplies. For, uh, the motorcade needs motorcade. I put together a shopping list and, uh, of everything we need. All we have to do is split up and buy all these things. That's weird. Half of the stuff on this list is makeup. Oops, that's the wrong one. Here you go. It's not half. He said the sun in the outer ring is so strong. Yep, outer ring. There it is. I'm still not used to it. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I can completely understand. And for the new monkey top surprise box, the rocket popping candy and UFO ships 10 pack. That all sounds great. Stop reading. You got too good of a memory. Anyway, don't tell Br Bernice. Bernice is one of the characters that's actually showing up on uh, that showed up on the trailer, not the trailer, on the on the social media for ZDD. It's the second character. Apparently, a lot of people are really interested in Bernice because of her looks. Talk about the scratch card when we get back, or she'll get at us for not taking her with us. Don't worry, I won't say a thing, and I'm just gonna buy one or two. It's really, really nice to actually see them, even though they're not going to be showing up yet. They'll probably show up in 1.2. I'm betting they'll show up in 1.2. Actually, I don't know. One of the things that I wanted to do the moment that I finished this, the chance of winning is so low as an investment, it's a good ripoff. Mm. So they like gotcha. The Sons of Caledon like gotcha, I see. I feel like I can understand them now. But anyways, mm, the update is tomorrow. I probably won't be continuing uh, DCC until probably either the weekend or next week. Um, so everybody just like, oh, I still need to upload all the uh, the DCC videos to YouTube as well. But uh, yeah, I I should let everyone have like a chance to actually play through the story, and then I'll play it myself. But um, before that, I'll do like all the side quests that I can. Well, do I need to do the weeklies, uh, Hollow Zero, and other stuff? I need to farm up. I need to. I need to make my Soldier Eleven like stronger, because see, I only have one level because I didn't have this. I couldn't actually get this because I hadn't completed her engine story, and I really, really needed her engine story to unlock this boss and start unlocking this because this is like, this is all her damage, and it goes up by a lot. Forty six, fifty two. 58, 64, 70 percent. So yeah, it's really important. And I already unlocked all of these. And also I need to farm her up. All right, I got the battle pass, and I actually grabbed the uh, the attacker one so I could put it on um, on Soldier 11. Because usually, well, one of the things that you wanna upgrade first is like your attacker. Uh, I know there's a couple of games where supporters can be really good, but uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what type of supports uh, I should grab. To put with her so far i've used the uh, where is she lucy lucy and anby anby to just like get the uh the break the stun and lucy because she's fire so she allows me to uh unlock the buff from the bang boo and her passive skill uh makes it so she gives me some attack where is it should be this one yeah uh, she increases uh, my attack by 18.6% of her attack plus 68. Although it's not really that much because I don't have any disc drives with her or like equipped on her. So she doesn't have much attack. How much attack does she have? 654. It's not bad still. Not bad. I really like her. I really, really like her. Like the way that she speaks. I also really like her, Piper. But for now, let me just check something real quick. Where is it? Soon on stream. Where's CCC? Senseless Zone Zero. Oh god, finding it's gonna be a bother. It's gonna be a true bother. 
since it happened so long ago. It happened two weeks ago. The upgrade uh, update program. Yeah, it was two weeks ago. Yeah, and there's nothing. Did it put a notification on it? Please tell me that. Nope, two weeks ago, one week ago, twelve days ago, five days ago. I don't have any notifications about it. Uh, C Z Z. Where is it? Oh God! I just follow way too many people. My subscription box is so full. It's just so damn full. Oh, maybe I can do it on from Twitter. D Z Z. Oops. D Z Z. E N. No, not E N. Can I not follow the Japanese one? Get verified. Hell no. Where is it? Oh, following. Scroll down. Should have prepped this beforehand. There's Honkai. Honkai Gakuen. Z-Z-Z-E-N. Now I gotta find the Japanese one. Did I not follow the Japanese one? I think I screwed up. Didn't follow the Japanese one. Yeah, I didn't. Damn. All right, then. Down here, since it's on zero, official, no. Where is it? Slowly scrolling up to find it. I have an idea. I open hers because I know that she definitely streamed it. Uh, no, that one. Here it is. Version 1.1. Now I pause. And she should have the URL for it. She does have the URL for it. This. I am subscribed. It's because it's full on in Japanese. Undercover RMB special program. Now, if I open it up like this. And full screen it. And then. Hang on. Hang on. Window capture. Mm. Oh. Does it have English? It does have English. That's so good. Browser? Home recent now. Wait, why is it that? Oh, it should be this. Uh, recent chat, Chrome, this. Now what if I open it up? Oh, uh, game capture? Here it is. Oh, actually, let me check my phone real quick. Where is it? Where's the cameras? Not that camera. Here. I wonder if someone's arrived. Oh, yeah, someone arrived. 100%. Oh, there it is. Wait, did I accidentally lock the door? No way, right? Let me check if I locked the door on accident. So, <laughs> I actually did accidentally close the door and uh, left my mom's boyfriend outside. Oh, I even locked the phone. I'm such a dumbass. Go on, open up. There's YouTube Studio. Perfect. Um, Game capture. Window capture. What is this? Nothing. Let me just mute ZZZ. That's for window capture or the browser capture. 
just make it slightly smaller. Way smaller. There we go. Something like this. How do I move it? Actually, let me check something real quick. There's literally people cosplaying on this. And this is cool. Oh, and there's the letter. I remember I saw this in social media that they had some sort of like letter. Maybe I shouldn't watch the, the full one. Maybe I should just look for a second. I, ha I hit everything, right? Yeah, I did. I should probably just do like the short video. Three minute video. The trailer. Sort of like the full update thingy. I'll watch that one later. By myself. Um, screen. Browser. There we go. English. Oh wait, I should also do this. Um, properties. Oh, it's an automatic. That's why it's in yellow. And maybe I can do it with something else. Bit bit. Oh, it doesn't show up if it's on bit bit. All right, never mind. Auto. Capture cursor. Nah. Wait, now it's not showing up. Uh. Uh, I think I screwed it up. I'll hide it real quick. There we go. That was weird. Okay, there we go. So what is the... Oops. So what is the next update going to be about? I'm like really, really lost because I'm supposed to like be going to like the Outer Ring uh, to find Pearlman. <clears throat> but it seems like... Only in 1.2 is when we're going to start getting uh, to like uh, the Outer Rings because of the characters that are going to be unlocked or the characters that are going to be the gacha characters. And uh, I don't really know where the story is going to end up going because it really didn't give much of a... They didn't give many hints as to what's going on in the world. We only know about the sacrifice. That was like the only thing that was shown. Hey, so that's finally the time for them to actually show up. Oh, she's the leader of them. No wonder people like her. <laughs> her animations are so damn good. It's so much of the, the, the animation power creep. <laughs> Even though it's just like 1.1, version 1.1. Hmm. The other character from the public security is there. Damn this music, though. I saw a bunch of like her animations because of her trailer. Oh, is he also going to be in the game? Well, is he also going to be a, a gacha character? Oh, police security. Eh? Eh? Oh, wait, it's going to be Jane Doe versus the public security? Undercover R&B. Eh? Oh, wait, it is... Just making sure it doesn't show anything that it's... <laughs> Just making sure it doesn't show anything extra. Now, from what I've seen, this is supposed to be like the video, like the agent story kind of thing. And usually the things that show up on like the agent story, uh, they, whatchamacallit, they have to do something with the, the, the story in itself. Like the things that are being shown, like the cover art, the things that are going to end up happening inside of like the agent story. And this is supposed to be the Jane Doe. But here's like public security. New character, Chingi. 
even though we already know her. I don't know who she he is though. I don't know his name. He showed up. Uh, I think he showed up in Sujuan's little trailer. But other than that, we don't have like no information about him. Uh, I think he's just like a very. Mm, he just pays like a lot of attention. He's like a newbie, like a novice. And he really respects like the other police officers, and so he just takes like notes and stuff like that. It's just very responsible kind of like character. I think that's what he's gonna end up being. But other than that, there's like no more information about him. Probably can uh, learn a little bit more about him from the update program. But other than that, uh, I don't think there's anything else that I can find in the game except maybe a side quest where he might show up or like one other. No, I don't think Suyon has like a an Asian story, right? No, she doesn't have one. Lycon, Rina are the ones that have like the agent story, and from the Cunning Hairs, it's just Nekomata, the ones that have it, the one that has the uh, the agent story. Suyuan still doesn't have one. Shinji, of course, doesn't have one. Maybe she'll have one on the next one. No, I think they only mentioned that there was gonna be only one agent story. Jane Doe's. <sighs> Anyways. I really can't get enough information from this. Like the, the trailer was like short and to the point. It seems to be things like are going on, but so far they don't seem to be connected to the story in itself. Because the story is uh well the last thing that we saw in the story was just like we need to get to Pearlman and Pearlman uh and to get to Pearlman we have to get to the uh to the outer ring. And the outer ring has like all this uh it's like wasteland kind of area. Which one's this easy? This one. There we go. And the wasteland is just like this big area. Or the outer rings is like this big wasteland that's like an area. And they're the ones that are there. The Sons of Caledon, uh, Lucy, Piper, mm, Caesar, and <sighs> Bernice. Those are the characters that we're probably going to end up like meeting out there. But uh, it seems like the next one is a public security focused story. And it didn't seem like Python even showed up once there. So I wonder if this is going to be the case of like, we're going to get like a patch, which is like a, a big side story. And after that, we're going to get a patch for like a main story. And it's just going to be going like that. It's just like side story, then main story, then side story, then main story, then side story, then main story kind of thing. Or if they try to like, or if there's going to be like just a tiny little bit of like information on the story, on that little like Jane Doe's uh, story. Maybe Jane Doe really is supposed to be like a very big character, just like they didn't really showcase it on the trailer. Um, because she's going to have like her own agent story and they wanted to focus on her agent story together with like uh, the thing that's going on with like public security. Actually, I don't even know if they might be connected. Who knows? Maybe they're like two completely different missions. And they just made it seem like they're they're connected. Hmm. Well, anyways, that's pretty much it for today. I'm just gonna head out, and I'm gonna just go watch somebody else's stream as usual. Uh, I wonder if they're still streaming. Yeah, they are. Of course they are. <laughs> Everyone streams way way more than me. I'm out here at like two hours and thirty minutes, and this person's like at almost four hours. <laughs> I mean, I guess uh, one of those things is just like the uh, the nice thing of them just like living in their own house kind of thing. Even if I live by myself, I don't think I'd stream that long because I'm just like a lazy kind of guy. So, yeah. Uh, I'll try to do like way, way more of like side quests uh, off stream of this. And I'll try to like finish the main story as fast as I can and start working on the agent stories and then start going on to like other games and start completing them. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. Mm, about the story this time i mean all i saw was just like the end of the story a little bit of like epilogue and i saw and i played uh story 11's agent story i don't know what to think about it yet um and yeah the person that said that uh you that this is like uh you get a little couple like tearjerker moments on the on the story it was probably only for coletas because there was nothing on public securities or episode three with Victoria housekeeping, uh, and that was a sort of like tear jerking moment. Um, I actually probably got my hopes too far up on uh, 
grind to the story but i mean i guess that's fine there's like still like a bunch of things that are going on in the game um and we know like we don't know anything about it on the prologue after we got fairy we got like in like a little glimpse into this transmission where they talked about yokai and ghost or phantom or whatever that dude was called and after that we never heard about them again but i'm gonna guess they're like some sort of like ais that are very similar to fairy and who knows maybe somebody else is going to capture them and maybe some sort of like corporation is going to be capturing the other like ais and as if they're like dragon balls and trying to just like use them together or maybe they can like fuse the ais make this like big machine that's completely invincible and lets them do whatever the hell they want and maybe that's where the story is gonna end up going at one point like we still don't know much about the uh the main antagonist of the main combo corporation that's going to be our antagonist uh for the game we only know of that woman that uh talked with like pearl man and she's supposed to be part of the whatchamacallit she's supposed to be part of vision corporation but i do believe she's only in vision corporation just as somebody that got planted in there from the uh i don't know it's called in the illuminati Whatever, they're just it, because they're supposed to be like some sort of like heading organization. I doubt that she's really from Vision Corporation, and she just got planted into Vision Corporation to try and use uh, their resources uh, for like their own good of this like s secret Illuminati Corporation <clears throat> thingy team, whatever. And I'm gonna guess I'm gonna be finding more about them later, uh, but so far they haven't given me too many clues about it so far they've done uh all they've done is like pretty much introduce a lot of like things like characters and stuff like that They're introducing Victor victoria corporation introducing coletta uh coletta's corp uh billabog introducing the cunning hairs because it seems like the cunning hairs were like a, a really big deal in all of those this like chapters because they're, they're always being like mentioned they're like our our main source of like information and our main source of like connection with like other characters because they connected us with uh with rain they connected us with uh bellabog kind of thing and i think it's going to keep on happening uh because also a lot of like things that happened were like sort of like revolving with the whole uh vision corp kind of thing who knows if they're going to keep showing up after we end up going to the outer ring and i'm going to guess that's going to be one of the next areas that are going to open up here just going to like the uh to the outer ring and i wonder how it's gonna look i'm gonna guess that it's gonna look very like wild westy very wastelandy very fallouty because uh <clears throat> because of how it looked in the trailer and as for why it looks like that the only guess that i have it's because of like the destruction of the hollows and maybe it's like a more dangerous area to be over there maybe there's uh i don't know some sort of like danger in being like far away from the city maybe there's something inside the city that makes it so that uh uh hollows don't happen as much or like holes are like uh a bit more controlled or something of the sort like who knows maybe because there's like people that go into the hollows and uh there's like some sort of like security force uh, going against the hollows that keep like going in eliminating eliminating ethereals and shrinking the hollows maybe that's what's making living in the city better and making the uh the outer ring such a, like a wasteland kind of like area <clears throat> or who knows maybe something happened uh what we call it maybe something happened uh after the old capital got swallowed up by the hollow or completely like destroyed and uh the whole like wasteland at the outer ring is the a side effect of the thing that happened to the capital so who knows there's a like there's a lot of like theories that i can come up i'm just like throwing rocks randomly and hoping one of them hits uh but uh, who knows i might just like throw too many rocks and all of them are just going to be complete misses and i'm throwing them like the wrong way kind of thing so yeah uh just gotta play the game just gotta wait for the next update to actually see the story but i'm really happy that i finally uh, was able to catch up to the very least one of the kasha games that i'm playing even though i ended up catching up on the last day of the update 1.0 i did manage to get like a lot of things i got 13k polychromes so i'm gonna be able to pull a lot i want to get jane doe I want to get Jane Doe, and if possible, I want to get uh, at the very least one of the characters from the Sons of Caledons that is going to be coming in 1.2, because I like how they look. I really, really like how they look. 
And well, we'll know later how they play out or what their animations are or what their personalities are. We'll see. Um, but after I learn more about them, I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm still gonna like sort of like I want to get one of the characters from like the Sons of Caledon, but I'll still hold out on getting any of them until I learn more about them. Should be on like probably a, a story mission, uh, where when we go to the Outer Ring, and we meet up with them. But also we're gonna end up meet up with them, uh, meeting up with them. It's pretty good. I had a lot of fun just like going around and doing a lot of things on the uh, the story. The animations are incredible. The uh, the cutscenes are absolutely bellissimo. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna start heading out because I gotta do a lot of like, gotta watch streams. I gotta get ready for for Natsu's subathon because she's gonna be continuing it now. I think she said it was she was gonna continue it at six seven. 7 p.m. CST, which is one hour ahead of me, so it's gonna be at six my time. I have like an hour and twenty minutes before she starts, and before she starts, I want to get ready, like get something to drink, uh, finish more dailies on other gacha games that I have, finish weeklies if possible. Because if I finish, one of the biggest issues is that because I'm just taking so much time supporting like other streamers or like being in their chat, I usually don't have much time to myself to just like play video games or just like you know do things that I want to do. Uh, and at the end of the day, that means that uh, I don't do the dailies or the weeklies in time. I always end up doing them at the last possible second, pretty much. And usually the last uh, the last hour when I'm doing like the, the weeklies is like very, very late at night, which ends up leading to just me not having very good sleep. And then I get affected like later on, like on the week and I get super, super tired. And that's why I don't end up streaming. Plus the fact that I end up going to like the streams and stuff like that. And I end up feeling like crapper, you know? So yeah, I should uh, try to catch up with a couple of like weeklies or like get ahead of the game and finish as many weeklies as I can, as many missions as I can, as many like side quests from like ZTT as I can before they start like accumulating too much and it start becoming not like a problem to actually do them all uh, very, very late at night on like a Sunday. Because who knows, maybe one of these days I'm gonna completely mess up my time schedule for doing like the weeklies and I'm gonna miss uh, weeklies on uh, on a game or something and I'm gonna feel really bad because I'm gonna be missing my, my gacha currency. And I'm gonna be super sad. But enough yapping. I'm gonna head out and for anybody that came by, anybody that watches the VOD or whatever, or watch like the stream, um, thank you very much. I'll be back someday. We'll see. <laughs> you know, I ain't one of the, uh, I ain't one for schedules, and I ain't one for like promising things because if I promise them, I'm gonna try my best to. Uh, <laughs> To actually do it and uh it might cost me so yeah i'm just gonna head out <laughs>